All right, honey. I don't want to make things weird, but you better enjoy the creme brulee because I will. I will cut you. This flower vase is on fire. Remember, I got the knife. All right, it is Valentine's Day. Love is in bloom. It's in the air, which could only mean one thing. Your boy happens to be heavily intoxicated. Locked up in his dark room, taking a virtual girl out on a date. But that's perfectly fine because I'm hoping that my despair brings enjoyment to, to your life. Now, we're going to go out on a date here as a disjointed hand. This hand that you're seeing right here represents us. Or me, technically. That's fine. You are part of me as well. And we're going to be still going now with maybe Tracy, maybe with Ava over here on a hot date. This kind of plays out like um, Surgeon Simulator. You know, you're supposed to do a bunch of tasks with your wacky physically hand. Look at this finger right here. I think I dislocated his finger or something. This bad boy over here did take a little while for me to actually get through. So we're going to be going with that one. And then we're going to be going with something completely brand new here today. Now, the problem is, who are we taking out? We have Ava. She's got the blue hair and eyebrow setup. I feel like Ava went through a lot of trouble to get that done, so I think we're gonna go with Ava. Sorry, Tracy, you're kind of a cutie as well, but um, I, I gotta give it up for the effort that Ava's put into that dye job right there. How you doing there, Ava? Now, Ava's under the impression that instead of being her date, I happen to be the, the waiter. Candles, no matches around, so because there's no matches around, Ava, please. I'm busy at the moment trying to set this stuff. I mean, technically speaking, this waiter, whoever is supposed to be serving us, this bad boy over here has lost his tip, because the moment you have me deal with a flamethrower, a miniature one, and we do have the pimp ring, mind you, so if things get out of hand, you know, this pimp hand. Just don't give me a knife. The last thing you want to do is hand me a knife. Get a burger and some fries as well. Uh, the tomato that apparently she wants, I don't know why she's just ordering a straight up tomato. It's not apparently in the menu. I'm going to get dinged for that, probably. <laughs> it's, even though it's not my fault. Take it up with the restaurant for not having a freaking tomato. Now, this is the most difficult part right here. And I'm hoping... Okay. Because you got to be really careful. This is like playing Jenga with a burger. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I see that you don't care enough about that wine spilling all over your dress at an infinite loop. Now you want me to feed you a fry in your mouth like you're a child. Okay, as I mentioned, Ava is under the impression that instead of, you know, being her date, I'm her servant. So here you go, open up, baby, I'm gonna give you a fry right into your nose. Now, I'm sorry about the tomato. I mean, they don't got tomatoes. I know you're gonna hold it against me because you're very vindictive, but what can I say? What I can do is just um, offer us to get even further intoxicated, me in real life and you in the game, because you still, you still don't care about the fact that, that wine is still going like crazy over there. All right, so here, here's what I'll do. Ava, I make no promises, but I'm gonna try to fill this up for you. I, it seems like you've already had enough, to be honest with you, but... Let's see if we could... I'm doing surprisingly well right now, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, things were going really terrible for me off-camera, but I felt that the little extra... I mean, I'm gonna dump that right there. These people don't even light up my candles, they don't want to offer my girl a tomato. I don't care about their establishment, I will just play stuff wherever. And you also want a beer. We gotta get you into a couple of AA meetings after this date, honestly. Oh, there you go. Is that enough for you? Please say when. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Let me get this beer out of here. This Mio needs some ketchup. I can understand that, sure. Ketchup is, uh, sometimes a requirement for the burgers, but I mean, considering the fancy establishment we're at, you'd imagine you wouldn't need ketchup. Like, if this is a McDonald's, yeah, sure, get the ketchup. It's a McDonald's, I mean, you're not gonna be, like, serving you, like, Chef Ramsay burgers here, but I like how that wine is still going. Over there, you're not liking that too much. She's very upset about this. Come on, baby. Let's go ahead and take it. Don't get upset! You also apparently want whiskey. The beer and the, the wine was not enough. Alright, order some whiskey here as well. And I believe you said you needed pepper. She wants me to put pepper on my own steak when I don't want it. But, you know, Ava gets what Ava wants. She's a very spoiled woman. What can I say? Um, okay, we have to hurry up with this um, whiskey here. Now, the problem is we got to get him into these small little shot glasses over here. If you think she's going to want it in a big cup, no. Even though she's got a really big drinking problem, she wants small little shots. I think we got the majority of that in there. Oh, no! Oh, it failed. <laughs> it was at an angle. We couldn't do it. Okay, things aren't looking too hot right now. I, I honestly blame the tomato from earlier. She has not let me live that down. The fact that we couldn't get her that tomato has really pissed her off quite a bit. So as I mentioned, this waiter here, he's lost his tip. Now, I also have to apparently heat this up for my lady. There it is. Uh, it looks burnt, but we're not, we're not going to hold that against me right now. Okay, honey, honey, honey. Oh, okay, I, I just dumped it over there. It's fine. Are we good? 
Oh, just, she's relatively fine with it. I actually got a two hard, very close to a three one off camera, but it took a couple of tries. I mean, I feel like I'm kind of on the outs with Ava. We might just wanna trade things up a little bit. We also have some messages here. These are my ex, um, you know, hookups as well. Uh, Riley. <laughs> Riley hates my guts. What did I ever do to you, Riley? I think that's the one that I set on fire by mistake. Yeah, I guess you probably hold that against me. Ava, look, can I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a, a witty joke. How about that? Are you an appendix? I Let me go back to my, my girl, Amelia. Amelia? Amelia, please. Come back to me, honey. This flower vase is on fire. <laughs> no, no, candle, candle. You, you've done enough problems already. Here we go. Okay, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Fire must be put out. Has it been put out? Oh, it's been put out. All right, honey. I don't want to make things weird, but you better enjoy the creme brulee, because I will. I will cut you. Remember, I got the knife. Don't even talk to her because apparently I ruin things when I talk to women. I mean, story of my life, honestly. But let's go over here to 2-1. Now, we're going into a completely, completely brand new environment for me. Oh, you're the thing on the title screen. Oh, you got the... Oh, that's gonna be a bad time. I gotta do this on a dime and just stop him? Oh, this is gonna go bad, Amelia. I'm just letting you know right now. Chopsticks? I can't do chopsticks. Can you light the candle? I hate using matches. What are you like up? Well, I mean, I'd say you're a pyromaniac, but honestly, then you like. You like lighting matches up on fire. Maybe it's part of your parole, though. Okay, hold up. This is... I mean, why can't we just stop the freaking candle? Who puts the candle on the conveyor belt? Can you pour some drinks? Okay. Uh, apparently, you've had enough to drink, huh? Giving you the old soda pop now. Um, where, where, where's the cup? There's the cup. I gotta do this while it moves. I guess technically you don't. I, I should just grab it and put it on the table. That's what you're saying? <laughs> I need a cup. You. You, come here. Okay. Um, I apparently have broken my hand. There it is. I got apparently some strawberry soda. It's a fine establishment to have strawberry soda. There you go, honey. There, that's some um, uh, form of sushi for you. Yeah? Having a good time, huh? Yeah, I know. Um, that looks delicious. You want me to feed you the sushi roll, California roll of some kind, into the mouth itself. Now, do I have to use the chopsticks for this? I hope not. <laughs> How would I even do this? Do I gotta stab it or something, or what? <laughs> Stabbing doesn't work. Oh, maybe. There you go, honey. Open wide. Say, oh, here comes the helicopter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice little chuckle, huh? Yeah. Where's the waiter? I know apparently I'm the waiter. Where's the waiter right? The chopsticks have unfortunately embedded themselves into my hand, so... Please, please, chopsticks. Okay. Honey, call the ambulance. Honey, call the ambulance. I'm not joking around, this is actually stuck on me. Call the freaking ambulance! I will sue you, man, back there cooking this food! Yeah, 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 okay. Why was that so difficult? Huh. Ooh, ooh, close, close. We got it. That looks tasty. Okay, you, you. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm, honey. I'm terrified. I'm terrified of the chopsticks because they get stuck to my hand. Like they, they pierce through my flesh and it hurts. So I'm gonna just give this to you in the mouth, okay? I haven't cleaned my hands. I'm sorry. It, 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 stop, stop the squid. Stop the squid. The squid went off the track by itself. Thankfully. You want? Uh, I, no. Okay. No. 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 Squid. Grab the plate. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, we've done good here. We've done so good. <laughs> like that soda's still going. Um, you want some soy sauce, perhaps? Is that what this is? Well, I'm not sure what this is, but let, let's figure it out. Uh, raise. Okay, it, it totally looks like soy sauce to me. Perfect. Get get out of the way. And now, now we're gonna give you the squid in the mouth. This is suddenly turning into like an anime hentai. But that's perfectly fine. Tentacle monster coming your way. This is open wide. Oh, oh it there. <laughs> just, just put it in your mouth, baby, please. Are you trying to hitch a ride or what? Oh, it went so well. <laughs> hey, you gave me the double guns. You know what date went perfectly well when she gives you the old double guns. Or even a lot. Oh, that's actually my first three hard one. I don't think I even three hearted any of the first tutorial levels. Let's go home.
Perfect. You know what? I'm gonna call it quits here because we had two excellent- well, I mean... I did sort of place on fire, but you can't hold that against me. We had two amazing dates. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is Table Matters. All the information will be down below. If you guys enjoy, want me to do some more? Let me know. There's more stages to unlock. And there's more hijinks for me to get into. I'll catch you guys next time.